what would it take for you to delete your Steam account? Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Domo, uh, Svangato. <laughs> Vogue. Voguing, okay, all right. And of course, Pedro come Mateus. Come on, Vogue. Together with you, Shat Realm Dynamic, helping us form cocaine, Voltron, so Vogue, much Vogue. V- Vogue harder. <laughs> Vogue to <two>, Vogue harder. <laughs> what were the Vogons? <laughs> they, now they, they're they, Vogue they were, Gons. They, they blew up the Earth to make way for an interstellar hyperspace bypass in Hitchhiker's Guide. Mm-hmm. They were the Vogons. Right, yeah. They also yeah. had the really bad poetry. Dude, they had mm-hmm. bitching poetry. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, it's better than slam poetry. I'll give, it, I'll give them that. <laughs> That's not saying much, man. Uh, you're back from Florida, man. I am. I am. Florida man tried to take me out. I mm-hmm. talked a bit about that in the pre pre super shows. And you get to watch the uh, boat parade. The, the boat parade. And I did not, unfortunately, get involved in a police chase. But, uh, you know, you know I, I, I made it out alive. Uh, only, only minor gator wounds. Uh, but I'll, I'll live. All right. Pedro Mateus, you've been uh, walking around the house smelling stuff. <laughs> Attempting to smell salt. stuff and failing miserably. Yes, ever since Tuesday, I haven't been able, I haven't been able to smell or taste anything. I've been playing around with a bunch of stuff. I finally pushed out the video for the first FireWire audio interface. A little blast from the past, a little bit of a history lesson, and uh, this may be testing in there. I want you to go listen to it if you get a chance and see if you can tell the difference. That's it, man. I don't think we're ever going to be able to bring FireWire back, and we're not going to get it on the horse. That's for sure. I- I mean, you can you can have a chain of adapters leading up to the horse. It all just ends in the steam. Yeah, it's, it's well. There's there, there's not a sale on. Both Ven yeah. and I got the notification, <laughs> and we thought there was a sale, but there is not in fact a sale. Well, 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 welcome to the, uh, the world of fucking maybe. Yeah, you get the notification on the app. It's like, or the email. You're like, such and such is on sale. It's like, is everything on sale? No, sure. No, it, it, it was just like Horizon or Marvel's Midnight Suns or whatever. But uh, they put out a, some of these blog posts periodically where they tell us when the next sales are going to be, so that we can decide. We can we can do our budgeting and determine when we actually want to spend money on games. The next next fests uh, are the sixth of February and the tenth of June. So look out for some cool demos there. And I really hope, speaking of Midnight Suns, I really hope that drops below 15 bucks for that Deck Builder Fest. Because I've been, I've been waiting to pick up that game, but I do not want to pay $20 for it. Mm-mm-mm. Dude, I, yeah, I'm looking at my notifications, and I, I just yeah. realized that I was, like, logged into uh, Valve, and I'm like, hey. And I'm like, oh, it's that game I kind of wanted. Not for 23 bucks, but yeah, same thing Jordan ran into. I didn't get one, but I got two email notifications, and I don't have a bunch of games on my wish list. That's just like, you know, I'm just waiting. Now that's why I do have it set up. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I never understood the point of having a wish list. And but Pedro, years and years ago, was like, you get notifications about sales, and I'm like, there's a reason to have. And a wish when the list. game comes out of early access into proper release, uh, they also send you a notification. Then and uh, I did the same thing Jordan did. I'm like, wait, is there a sale going on? And I go to store.steampower.com and I look for like the big banner. I'm like, ah, oh, what sale is this? The Tuesday because reason sale. I'm like, no, there's no sale. I'm like, why is this on sale now? Why didn't? Why wasn't <laughs> this on sale? Down, I guess. Yeah. But you know, hey, there's your dates. It's, it's we're reporting them to report them. It's just hard, as we say every time, to get excited about Steam sales these days because they're not exciting. They're just omnipresent. They're just always well, around. It, it, these it, are it, the days that you buy the games, and only on these days. It, it, want, it, hang it, on. It, it, no. It's <laughs> if you want the trinket award things, because if you buy something during the Steam sale, you get like a badge, for right? Th- Hot yeah, you get like whatever. steam steam points or whatever steam bucks. There's always some but meta game that just will... buy buy a steam deck. You get like sixty thousand steam cheating. points. It's fine. That's cheating. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that, that's pay, that's paying a win. Uh, but yeah, like it, it is it is very much that diminishing return of like when you have no games in your library, steam sales are great. And when and after about what ten years of them now, we've we've had steam on Linux for about ten years now, almost eight eight nine ten years. 
Okay, there's yeah. something to the fact of sales genuinely used to be better though, because uh, I think last time it used the um, Steam DB's sales calculator mm. because that's just the way to shop sales. Put it on ninety percent. There were like two games during the sale mm. that were ninety percent off, and used to be, you know, I'm not saying we had pages of pages, but you know, there would always be like you know, ten, fifteen games that were just on like Insta buy. Mm. You know, but the sales were special. You might get one in the winter, one in the summer. If you were lucky, well, I, I, that, that's that's kind of what happened. Was we get like there was the summer sale and there was the winter sale, and like ah, lunar New Year sale, and they slowly. But I, I, and, now and, you and have I mean, all like, the seasonal sales yeah. plus the specific sales like Next Fest and uh, Dinos versus Robots, which is apparently <laughs> happening on February twenty sixth to March fourth. Oh, there was that one. There was that one like Left for Dead game that had like the the robot dinosaurs. I wanted to try that one. Exo Primal. Sure. I'm not going to fight you on that. That, that one looks cool. Uh, Steph Sterling was talking about it at one point. All right. it, was just like, it was like, yeah, it was like squad based, like killed dinosaurs. Some robot dinosaurs. I mean, when I think robot dinosaurs, man, I think shooty pew pew. Like, what, what, what do we have in the category of robot dinosaur? <laughs> like Ark, <laughs> um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. When was the last um, time a Dino Crisis game came out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think. Oh was- yeah. Oh, so, so, uh, as an aside, we we all, the the Sega announcement. We're getting like new crazy taxis. We're getting new like all all that shit. Okay, the dead. that that I was kind of excited about, and I, I posted new golden axe. Yeah, dude, the golden axe looked like it was going to be online multiplayer. Where we're going to be playing the snot out of that, and like what? that. I was oh. like, there we go. There's the game we've been waiting on. The one that I was like, really, I was just curious about. Like, how you can do this one, Sega? Alex kid. Hmm. Maybe maybe like a maybe like a like a Mario style three D platformer maybe, maybe. You can take it in that direction. I, that's what they I'm scared just, of. Like, are they they could just follow the platformer chain down through the years since Alex Kidd first came out, <laughs> and yeah, no, make it a roguelike. <laughs> I, maybe maybe never never winter oh, kids. Oh, or... I, 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 turn Alex Kidd into Dark Souls. There you go. Oh, that, that, dude. That's, that's oh. how you do the that's how you do the reboot, right? <laughs> We got to get me to play that. a lot more Alex. Kidd. Like, are, are you gonna get? Are we gonna just get remasters or like complete reimaginings? Like the uh, when I saw the Golden Axe for that yeah. second, I'm like, oh, 3D co-op. Yeah, three, like, 3D online. Golden Axe. Yeah, and uh, you know, Jet Set and stuff like that. I'm like, I was never huge into those games, but uh, very interesting. Very, yeah, oh, I, oh. Oh, I, I really hope something comes out of that. For and sure. they re up Streets of Rage too. Yeah, so we're gonna get like a legit. Not, not that there was anything wrong with the with four, yeah, four, the Streets four of Rage made by whoever made. I mean, it, uh, it was serviceable. Uh, dot, dot emu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, they did okay <laughs> with the property. Um, it'll be interesting to see, like, if they decide. Oh God, yeah, don't make that three. Well, no, don't make yeah, that three D. Oh, if if they do like a platinum like Spectacle Fighter though, like again, oh, you three D the can, hell out of it. Yeah, bring platinum. You, you okay, can, you you can, you can you can do like there's Jordan, a lot of Jordan, cool shit Jordan, with the Sega property. Jordan, that's really like, cheating. You can't just throw platinum on something because then it's like all right fine go for it um <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm just i'm just putting these ideas out in the world because I, I want someone to make them right like yeah we turn alex kid into a spectacle brawler with a uh, well, yeah you know platinum then he's got to fight god at the end yes um, right yeah yeah yes and he gets the like movie. the dlc suit to dress up like 9s and no he, no, he, <laughs> I, I, no alex kid gets the 2b he gets the 2b <laughs> outfit <laughs> Like the full on main outfit, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, dude, where's my deck? Yeah, so uh, we very rarely cover editorials, especially from Metro.co.uk. Links to all this in the show notes, but this one popped up. There's this is a bit funny. So homeboy, uh, homeboy, he orders himself a, a, one of those new OLED Steam decks off of off of the Steams, and um, the 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 delivery guy. Uh, shows up and they stick they stick the 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 box for the Steam Deck in the recycling bin, which is apparently a thing that they do in the UK because they're crazy. Um, so apparently this guy came home, his recycling bin got cleared, and therefore his uh, Steam Deck got recycled. And this is Val's fault. Uh, so he tried to contact the shipping company. Uh, they said that they're investigating. He tried to get a refund from Valve. Uh, and then, having not been immediately gratified by his efforts, uh, goes and writes this lovely little article on 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 Metro. I guess. Granted, uh, it would have been a sweet thing if Valve just immediately was like, "Hey, man, sorry about that. Here's your new Steam Deck." But they didn't. They didn't have to do that, right? Like, 
this is why you get shipping insurance and this is why you buy shit on your credit card. So when it doesn't show up, you can be like, hey, that, that, that didn't arrive. Visa and Visa will claw back the money. Visa, Visa gets theirs, man. Yeah, it's it go. Look, I understand the whole wanting to go all scorched earth or on something. I can respect that. But you do that only after you've heard the no from the people that you paid money to. Uh, from the description that the uh, the dude posted there, it, it, it looks like he lost his shit uh, <laughs> uh, while Valve was still investigating because the last thing he mentions is like, oh yeah, I talked to Valve and they said that they were still investigating, so I just nuked my account. No! You, didn't, you don't do that! That Look, it's Valve, you know, the joke, haha, Valve time. The, <laughs> these things, they take time and other such memes. Um, they probably get a lot of, uh, claims of, uh, lost decks on a daily basis from people trying to, you know, get the money back and still have the deck. So, you know, as someone who myself has had something left in a wheelie bin outside that I only realized that there was something there because yes, I was expecting a parcel and it wasn't on the doorstep and it wasn't inside. And when I looked at the wheelie bin, I saw that the, um, the lid wasn't fully closed because it was already almost full and the, uh, the mail person just put the package in there. And so the lid was slightly open. Uh, if I hadn't noticed that, 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 that was, yeah, that was about 200 and something pounds down the drain. So don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Reading through this, like, uh, the, the turn of events, uh, the dude ordered a OLED steam deck and, you know, he's like, man, I'm working nights and all this. And I get a notification. He's like, oh, your deck's been delivered. And like, nah. And he went to go check it. And the parcel service, like in bin, I'm like what in bin, the bin's already been taken out contacts parcel service. And he was like, yo, you shouldn't have uh, put this in the bin parcel service. Like it's our bad guys Our bad. We will. Well, what? They did an investigation. They're like, the delivery person will have to reimburse you. You know, we're going to take that out of his check. And then the delivery guy shows up to the dude's house and he's like, please don't make me pay for the Steam Deck that I threw in your bin. Guy's <laughs> like, bye. Um, <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> Slams door. Then he goes unhinged and uh, in the scorched earth policy. At the end of the day, though, like Valve's like, we didn't have any, you know, I'm pretty sure like to what you were saying. Val's like, yeah, we got to deal with this shit all the time, you know, fraud and all that. And this guy's pretty much got a nice chain of custody here, a lock, and he's got the parcel delivery people saying, yo, it's our bad. We'll take care of it. And the dude blows Valve back up. He's like, and I want my refund. I'm like, homie, you probably shouldn't like do this, write an article, get it published and say that you're going to get a refund. You're going to get reimbursed from the parcel company. And you've already told Valve that you want a refund on top of that. Yeah, it's okay. Probably. Even if he does get a deck now, he can't play it because he nuked the Steam account. Oh, he's uh, he's probably <laughs> already opened up a new account. Like, uh, cause, cause, or he didn't know, even he, do it in the first place. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because like pe people don't play hot shit, right? Like, they they they, they don't really. Stick. What would it take for you to delete your Steam account, Pedro? Because you'd be the only one I've listed to. <laughs> <laughs> I I have gone out of my way to just nuke multiple of my uh, gaming service accounts blizzard epic yay we we, we uh, know. Ubi i think i still yeah. have my ubisoft account um why but yeah they're the I worst <laughs> they're very much not when you look at what activision blizzard did activision blizzard's by far the worst um, they're, the, they're the worst that you still have an active subscription to. Let's put it that way. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's not a very high bar, to be fair. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it is... Um, so what would it take? <sighs> I don't know. They'd, I guess they'd have to physically assault me. What, or what, 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 do... What, 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 what if Gabe, like, stole your girl? Oh, oh I, got one. I got one. What, <laughs> what, what if you wake up tomorrow and they've dropped all support for linux in the steam deck and they push <laughs> okay. out an update for the steam deck that's windows 11 well, i was gonna say like, like what i if would you just woke up? install nobara on the steam deck that wouldn't get me to stop me what, 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 i know i gotta go where i'm going with this uh, and i mean <laughs> like they, 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 they're done with proton like it's pulled out it's gone windows 11 only 
I would be disappointed, but I still, yeah, no, it's still right. Yeah, you got him. Well, there. fuck him. Like, what, 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 <laughs> but like, what, what, what if you woke up one morning and you were a cockroach and it was Gabe's fault? What, ah, what if it's- <laughs> bad mojo. <laughs> Metamorphosis. Right. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what if just, this just turns into a Kafka novel? <laughs> but, but like, you, you, you know, you, you have a note like, I did this to you. Signed Gabe. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, if they're doing bad juju magics and uh, turning me into Kafka's, uh, the protagonist of Kafka's metamorphosis, then yeah, absolutely. Pe- Pedro Samza. <laughs> that would probably, as soon as I could muster a way to uh, remove my <laughs> Steam account with my teeny tiny little... <laughs> All right, I, I got one for you, Jordan. What if Valve gave us like, all right, we're, we're going to give you a deal right now. You got to answer yes now in the next minute. We'll give you cash value, original release price for every game in your library. Refund. Ooh, how, how much money is that? Oh, I need, I need to do some math on that. <laughs> oh, you got one minute, dude. Tick, 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 tick. Actual um, money paid? No, no, there's the original release retail price for everything in your library. Oh, that would be over $10,000 for me. <laughs> there we go. Now we got one cancel to come. <laughs> Done. Money. Done. <laughs> Cockroach, you'll think about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, m- m- maybe, maybe sniffing your Steam Desk exhaust is the thing that ultimately turns you into a cockroach. No, it's not. And kids, <laughs> Steam Decks smell awesome. and They do. That's really something uh, our Steam Decks trying to drive home. Uh, this user, which this, this is new Reddit. How do people use new Reddit? It should just say, this is a PSA advice. I asked Valve about sniffing the vent because, you know, <laughs> that's a thing. It's the internet. <laughs> Your help request. I need help with Steam Deck. Message from you on December 8th, 5.43 p.m. Three days. Does this save to inhale the exhaust fumes from the top of the top vent of the Steam Deck? It's somewhat of a meme to enjoy the fumes, but I think I kind of dot, 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 like it, question mark. Poor Valve employee. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for contacting support. Rip that shit, son. It's awesome. No, I'm not a man. That up. Um, <laughs> for 20 <with> blazing. <laughs> right? <laughs> that, that, that is the proper response to this fucking letter, but like. As with all electronics, it's generally not recommended that you inhale. Generally, I didn't, I'm not seeing a decisive no here, Valve. Uh, exhaust <laughs> fumes on your device. While there are no safety concerns with a general usage, directly inhaling a device of end fumes should be avoided. We understand that it may be a meme, but please refrain from this behavior for the safety of your health. Sandler. Adam Sandler. Yes. Sign yes. Adam Sandler. The Sandler himself. <laughs> I, yeah, it, smell, it smells good. I, I, will, I will freely admit to huffing my Steam Deck fumes because <laughs> I'm a degenerate. And Where are the Mythbusters when you need these guys? Are like they're, too high, they're, they're too high on Steam Deck fumes. <laughs> they, they can't get us. No, both of you I, have Steam I, I too have smelled I the vent. Both of you <laughs> have. I know this. I know this for a fact. Now, is it is it the the same smell you get when you first like hit a new GPU with a game for the first time, or is it like a whole different new boat yeah, yeah, of it, uh, percentage it's, it's, that's coming out of it? it? It's new laptop smell. That's that's what yeah, it's, yeah. You turn on a, lo- a brand new laptop for the first time, and that those first puffs of really warm air is the exact same smell. You 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 make you make the comparison in the show notes. And yeah, it, it is it, it's that same plasticky smell from like magic cards, the plasticizer mm-hmm. they use. Oh man, that that, but, that but shit warmer. Like, has it's like it, warm electronics, but the smell of like a fresh yeah, MTG that, 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 booster that, pack. That has like a, a beeline right into my brain where I'm just yeah. like, I gotta go spend fifteen hundred dollars on like booster packs. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to have dreams where I would like buy cartons oh. of cigarettes when I was quitting <laughs> smoking. And then eventually that turned into me having dreams where I would just buy obscene amounts of magic cards. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means it was tickling the same side of the addiction brain. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up next is uh, everyone's favorite uh, person. Pedro. Yeah, favorite. Loveling. Is Tim Sweeney a person? Can can we call him that? Does he qualify? I, listen, I, he does not have a monocle top hat or so. So, so he's not, so he's not Mr. Peanut, is what you're saying? Possibly not. Possibly not. No, he did an interview with I think it was The Verge, and they, they talked about a bunch of stuff. Banana. But 
one of the topics was Epic Games. And like, hey man, how come we don't get Fortnite on that Steam Deck anytime soon? So after he regained his composure <laughs> and wiped his tears with Fortnite money. <laughs> wipe, wipe the cocaine out from under his nose. <laughs> uh, he, he comes back, man, and he's like, uh, you know what? You know, if, if we only, only we had, had a few more programmers, a more programmers. <laughs> if we only didn't it's fire the a Linux bunch of problem. People. I love Steam Deck hardware. Valve has done an amazing job there. I wish they would get tens of millions of users. At which point, it would actually make sense to support it. Man, he's re- man's really got to update his talking points. Like this has been the same shit from like for like at least ten years now. This is. Like, oh, if, if I had if I had a million programmers, like in my easy anti cheat company that Epic Games owns that runs on the Steam Deck, uh, or it, it, he had the the, the get out of jail free card. It's like, yeah, we don't want to support the platform that we're hoping to supplant. You could have just said that and not be a smarmy little shit, implying that the Steam Deck is a lesser platform because it hasn't even sold tens of millions of units. I, I honestly didn't think I could dislike uh, Timmy and Epic any more than I already do, and yet here we are. You're part of the Linux problem. Uh, <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem is you use Linux. You gotta stop that shit. Yeah. You gotta buy your rug or whatever. Man, I don't know. Like, like Easy Anti-Cheat was held up for so long. Can you... I, I don't even know, man. Like, what is the... Uh, can, well, the, the, can you play the, Fortnite? Or is there, yes. <laughs> or is there still you can play many different things in Fortnite. It's not even just about a royale mode anymore. Can you play Fortnite but, on a Steam Deck? No. Like, is it the easy it, anti cheat? Is is that a problem? It, it, no, you can't uh, play it at all on Linux because it uses kernel level anti cheat. Yeah, uh-huh. you, you, you you need to install Windows on that. And again, like the the reality here is they want to protect their market vector because you know people spend money on Fortnite, and if there's any way that people could potentially circumvent that. Then they gotta nip that in the bud, right? That's 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 well, the point they, of the cash they, cow. They, they want to get you know they don't want to give Valve that thirty percent cut, man. Yeah, yeah, no. The problem is the thirty percent cut. It is. Hey, and listen. yet they're firing a bunch of people to keep the bottom line up. Val- Valve is <laughs> super greedy. Uh, Epic has been <laughs> able to demonstrate that a twelve percent cut is profitable. Yes, yeah, yeah. Except well, I, I, it, I, it, 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 it might be if they weren't giving away free games. We th- we will never have that data point because they're just going to be like, well, you know, we would be making money, but we keep just gi- just giving stuff away, so we'll ne- we'll never know. It's well, we're not going to know till like when or if the uh, Fortnite dump truck train yeah. of money like quits coming in. Like then, like then there might be you know it's just all lip service about like and then oh, Daddy Tencent might have something to say to little Timmy. I don't know. You know what? Apple will be like, you know what? Fuck it. We'll bomb. No. A couple of game updates. Uh, never ending updates for this. When you posted this, I'm like, did the fucking walking game get another update? <laughs> well, it's, it, it's never winter nights. It's, it's one of yeah. those games for me. This and uh, Fallout 2 and Morrowind and Silent Hill 2. It's, they're the games I cannot put down. And, <laughs> Uh, the, the basically Beam Dog is not doing official updates for Neverwinter Nights anymore, but they're saying, "Hey, people in the community, if you want to do updates, just get together and send us the stuff, and we'll make it an actual thing." And people have been doing just that. Uh, with this one, it comes with um HDR Bloom. You can see the little GIF if you're looking at the video version. Such blink. Yes, you can double tap uh tab uh to leave the highlights on. That's a nice uh, no, that, quality of life thing. That's very okay, nice. Yeah, right, actually, uh, having the to toggle. <laughs> or are they? Do they just not realize that you know you're not limited to a 256 color palette anymore with animated? Do, I think that's the GIF compression <laughs> more than anything. Right. Uh, Neverwinter Nights. I remember it was one of the first that actually forced me to change from 16 bit to 32 bit on Windows. So uh, the, because. The, <laughs> well, the, just, just just to interrupt Pedro's nostalgia, the one cool, really cool thing about this update is they've open sourced the script compiler for this, which oh. is pretty cool. Uh, it's available on GitHub. If see, they, they, they describe this as if 
you don't want to deal with C, and modern C++ is terrifying, consider using Neverwinter Nights script language. The yeah, fuck? It, I it, old C++. It, it's like first or second uh, like edition C++. <laughs> yeah. So, so some, some Borland Turbo Pascal yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm so, is there not an open source uh, engine re-implementation of that? Yeah, uh, uh, Zorios. Zorios, oh, okay. yeah. That's, uh, there were a couple of other attempts to start, but Zorios is by far the one that's the furthest along. Right. Though we haven't heard anything from the developer in a while. Uh, you know, I mean, it works with software too, man. If you get good Linux support, people aren't going to do open source re-implementations with the same gusto. Last same way with update. like drivers with hardware, you know, if you got Linux drivers, people aren't going to reverse engineer your hardware with the same gusto. I mean, it can still happen, but so the the last update for Zorios was 2020, which is three, three years, years ago. Now. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> three years have yeah. passed. Oh no, <laughs> and and it and their last update was it was booting uh, Knights of the Old Republic. That was that was okay. That was. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch had a bright Titties. idea this week. <laughs> they did. They there's um. <laughs> Johnson got a promotion. He came up with a life hack. Make Amazon all the money. Nothing can go wrong. Someone gets handy. Let's have him take a shirt off. Less than 24 hours later, they roll back this bright fucking idea they had. Uh, Twitch changes its mind about what nude art after just 48 hours. We went too far, they say. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they kind of walked through this. Uh, this comes from PC Gamer. All this is going to be in our show notes. Yeah, Wednesday Twitch was like, you know what? We're going to allow drawn, animated, and sculpted depictions of the human body, but you can't do any of that in poses where they'd be banging. I'm like, oh, oh, classy only. Got it, got it, got it. And uh, I was reading through this article, and Dextero was like, of course, this was immediately overrun by the anime and uh, furry communities. But, but- but, but like, yeah. here's the thing, though. <laughs> they appropriately labeled that shit. People want to hate on the furries, but they're, like, one of the more responsible groups out there on the internet. They have nuclear launch codes, and they haven't killed anyone yet, which is astounding. Oh, no, no, no. What I'm talking about, like, you can appropriately label, but if you're violating the terms of service, it can be appropriately well, labeled. But, but, yeah, but, but like... they well, weren't. <laughs> they, 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 they weren't violating the terms of service. Were, son, because I... What was, what was, what was happening was you. they weren't fucking... Sc- censoring the main screen if you click on art it shows you all the naked shit that's yeah. on twitch to properly filter that stuff out that's the yeah like but like the the, the real the real reason they really walked that back was because of uh, ai generated images of real people and also certain not real thousand year old demons that uh <laughs> so only, we only... got the like 48 hours i i yeah just got like the tail end because I, I went to like just chatting and i'm like do i have to yeah. do anything where's the art category i want to see this and uh like i i, I think it was already being cleaned up yeah. by that point but twitch had a statement and they said upon reflection we've decided that we went too far with this change which if we take that and we feed it, it runs on punch cards because it's an old system, our deep bullshittertron 9000, and that spits out. That means that they can, just around 24 hours, not only advertisers, but our payment processors came knocking on the door and said, uh, how'd that shit out? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still not super pleased that payment processors are in a position where they are able to do that. That seems like... Yeah, it yeah, seems th- like a lot of power for Visa and MasterCard to hold... Uh, yeah, and PayPal. Be, 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 be the arbiters of speech and whatnot. Yeah. And what really blows my mind is uh, when I got done reading this and I saw this, like, I, I, I had to go check the band game list. And I was like, is the thing that genital jousting is still a band game on Twitch? The, 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 I, the comedic cartoon. Like, yeah. The, the, because the, you the, are a penis fuck, that wants to go into the butthole of the other penis. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it is very much fuck your friends, the game. Do they still allow mount your friends on? On Steam, though. I don't know. Like, what was Twitch really thinking here? Because you know, you know, you know, Amazon, Twitch, they, they want a cut of that. Uh, you know, risque. Like, there, there was a bit in The Simpsons on an episode where Lisa grows up and she goes back home and she visits uh, her parents after university, and mm-hmm. Marge and um, Homer are just like sitting in bed. And Marge, I think it was Marge, is like, wow, it was amazing. You didn't even notice that uh, Fox became a hardcore porn channel. Right? <laughs> and, like, you know, over evolution, like, how far do you go? Because I've seen all the different sides. All the people come out of the woodwork when something like this, you know, we get the people that are like, 
Twitch is only supposed to be for gaming. And I'm like, sweetheart, Twitch hasn't been just for gaming for, 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 for a while. For, yeah. And uh, we can uh, speak to this with authority because we had to walk that line with this very show oh, I of mean. not being, because, you know, Twitch was like only for gaming. And we're like, doing a gaming podcast. And they're like, maybe we won't shut down your stream. Thank you, Total Biscuit, for that one. <laughs> right. And, and, and like the, the I, I, don't, I don't know, the, 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 the whole notion is like, it, 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 it's, it's a public platform. There needs to be some sort of like content control in place. Um, but at the, at the same time, let, pe- let people fucking watch what they want. As long as no one's actually getting hurt. Um, as, as, lo- as long as people are like adequately informed as to the content that they're exposing themselves to, I don't, I don't really see what the issue is. Um, it, it, it's, it's just a bunch of like oversensitive Puritans. Making, what, yes, oh, yeah, so think the, of the, the children. The, the, the children who can processor. go into an art children museum. Children don't make money. See, yeah. <laughs> children can go into an art museum and see gore and nudity as much as they want, and they don't need to be supervised. So, like, again, I don't really, I don't really see the difference. It, well, the, I mean, the difference is advertisers. That, that is it, 100%. Yeah, that's and, who you got to fucking please. And, like, Twitch is always going to buy because Twitch is like, you know, Twitch wants that money. They want, listen, man, Twitch wants this, what you're talking about, Mike. You know, that's why they took this fucking stop. You know, Twitch, Twitch is on your side, Jordan. Twitch is like, yes, yes let's do this. Me, let's, let's. Me, me, me and the anime titties, we're, we're united in a, in a tower of power. <laughs> but uh, I, I, get, I, I get what they're trying to go for. But like the, the second you open that, you got to be prepared before you do that to manage mm-hmm. the rest of it. That, 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 I think that was that was the big mistake, right? Right. Like you, you got to have that system in place of because this anytime you, re, especially with any type of rules, like the second you relax something or change something, people are immediately going to say, yeah. "Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line?" And, and it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's the novelty of it too, right? Like all of a sudden you can have nude art on Twitch. Well, everyone who wanted to do that in the first place is going to start doing it now. So you're going to mm-hmm. have like a massive initial wave, and it's going to calm down. But they were they, again. They weren't prepared. They didn't have the censorship. You up. gotta have the people there. You gotta have yeah. the moderation there. You gotta have the education there. You gotta draw very fucking clear lines. And again, you're gonna have to revise shit. Um, you know, they'll probably come back with version two of this. Uh, with like, oh my god, damn it, Ari, we gotta put every single thing, which you should have done in the first place. We'll be honest. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 but but then there, they would there, you would have those assholes who are like ah but you didn't explicitly enumerate this thing so I'm gonna do it and, and you know what the ban them from scenario. orbit because you don't have time <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I mean, they it, already it just, do it, that it, even when people make like genuine honest mistakes so yeah <laughs> well the days yeah. of like twitch favoritism like for a long time it was like I didn't have anything to do with twitch just because like it was high school but it's mm. High school clicks and yeah, gotten better. Like, arguably, think oh, some things have gotten better, some things have gotten worse since Amazon. Big Daddy Bezos, uh, use those Twitch subs, fam. Um, <laughs> take money from Bezos. The patreon.com slash the Yeah, woo. I thought you should get out of the ads. Um, <laughs> bought it, but like, some things have just gotten worse, you know, and like, they want it. Like, this is this is a progression system because it started with games, then we got fucking everything else. Social eating. Then yeah, we got hot tubs. Just talking social hot eating. Tubs. Then the hot tubs, yes. We got a dedicated category for hot tubs. So, so you can already go and see people in bikinis. Mm-hmm. But I want to see them in bikinis doing tasteful art. I want to see them twerking tastefully. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to see those tasteful nipples. <laughs> I mean, they are, they are tasty nipples. <laughs> At the end of the day, I mean, where, where does this end up? Um, who knows? Like, like personally, I don't care. I don't care. Would, and I, I can't say, I can't be on the side of like, oh, it's got to be just for games because, you know, I watch way more people do stuff than like Twitch hasn't been just for games. Like even I look at my own watching patterns, like how many people do I watch who stream or just doing games? Like Twitch, Twitch is kind of tiny. like the the evolution of public access kind of right like people are doing like art shows and bob ross shit and like educational live. stuff like, yeah live. irl yeah. people out on the street and you know way more so that i like this is the problem like well you have youtube and like it, it's google money they have no desire to like 
fix their live system. Like there's no discovery. Like how do you even go to like you go go to YouTube Live, try to find something. You, you gotta dig. You gotta dig for that old interface so you can update the damn title of your. When your stream. was the last time YouTube recommended a live stream to you? Yesterday. What was it? Uh, it was Alt Shift X talking about the Dune trailer. Okay. Was it was it a notification? Uh, it wasn't to a somebody notification. You were but, subscribed to. So someone I was subscribed to. Yeah. Okay. How about just like somebody you weren't like? Here, I'm, I'm thinking like you know when when you're like Doom refreshing on YouTube. Like on the mobile app, I don't think I've ever seen a live sometimes stream. You, pop up. Sometimes uh, you get like Sky a live News, uh, live stream uh, that doesn't count. Our, that um, <laughs> Australia broadcasting what, what, doesn't count. What what what, what about Lofi Girl? Yeah, Lofi Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Streams that are not on twenty four seven for years at a time. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, I, I wonder. I wonder what ancient version OBS that shit is actually running off of, right? FF <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that. That 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 is a five dollar VPS put to good use, man. <laughs> like the ROI on that one has been pretty tight. I I love happy success stories like that. Mm. Uh, w four games we've talked about because we've uh, been following Godot since it had that creepy ass cockroach as a mascot. Yeah, you remember when that head had a body to it? And we're like, you need to change that. <laughs> uh, they did. Um, but if you use Ghetto, you're like, hey, I'm switching to this engine. You're like, cool, that's awesome. You want to make some PC games? That's dope. I make some Android games. All right. You want to put that shit on consoles? Well, fuck. Well, not yeah. entirely. You could, if you have the chops and you have the access, you can do it yourself. But if you, you don't, you, or or or, you or, can, or the money to get a dev kit. Yes, <laughs> you can't uh, with Godot. You can't legally do it. Yes, but yeah, no. Basically, uh, if you don't have the means to do the console port yourself, and you are uh, doing a Godot game, and you'd like W four to help you, I hope you have some money because uh, if you pay them a eh, not insignificant amount, uh, they have the Starter Pro and Enterprise. Um, plans there and enterprise it just goes to uh call, call us, us. Call <laughs> have us, your baby. people uh talk to us uh about a quote uh so yeah it is uh it, it like the the starter pack is not outlandish by any means uh but yeah it is a very good way for them to for you to have a way to guarantee that someone else um we'll do all the testing and make sure that the game is working on the proper console that you're paying for the uh, port support for which is great it's absolutely great and they uh, i already mentioned the faq they have a very big faq which is quite uncommon when you see stuff like this i'm reminded of the whole unity pricing shenanigans where yeah, there, they have... there are some call outs to unity in that faq yeah there, the, yeah uh, there, 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 there are a couple there's a couple this is there <laughs> but yeah no it's very detailed and they have some very specific situations there about okay so if i stop paying for the support at one point can i continue to release the things like yes as long as you don't have any code from the uh, W4 port uh, SDK, yeah. I mean, uh, the, okay. No, oh, man, go ahead. I was just going to say, the, the, they, they do also mention that they're starting off with uh, Xbox and uh, Switch in Q1 of 2023, or 2024, because that's the year coming up. I don't no know PS4. Anymore. You're right. And yeah, no, no PS4, PS5 coming in Q2 eventually. Um, and yeah, there, there, there's, there's some, there's some stipulations there regarding access to the source code. They do give you, they do give you the full source code though. So if you are working with uh, W4 repos and you're doing the, getting the console ports, you do get everything that they're working on. So it, it's not like anything is being kept from you and you do have access to all of it. Yeah. And you know, pricing and everything's pretty reasonable when you go down to it, uh, with your team size and everything that you'd normally expect $2,000 a year for the console platforms, you know, you get to pick one and do it eight person team they're very clear about this because i went digging around i'm like what does the team size mean anybody that is part of the company anyone so if you got six devs two people working in art and a social media person that's nine they they do say in the faq that they are willing to be flexible with smaller companies on a case-by-case -case basis but i get why they're saying like you know we're, we're, we're just going to set a limit here right 
Yeah, just 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 to, just to keep it simple, right? And uh, but the yearly contracts, though, like this is the one thing here. Now, if you're wondering, like eight hundred dollars a year, that seems like where did they pull that number? Well, it ain't got nothing to do with Unity Kids. Let me introduce you to something called Game Maker Studio. <laughs> this is a clear shot at uh, the enterprise version of Game Maker, which uh, surprisingly is also seven ninety nine ninety nine. There you go. Um, and console exports with that big old asterisk at the bottom. Yeah. So I, I understand where they're coming out with that. But per year per team, I think they're going to get a lot of calls because it was my initial thought. And like, if you update your game a couple of years down the line, how's that work out? Do I get to buy a whole year just to get an update pushed? Or is there a difference between like a security update or like, and a, you know, maybe I'm adding DLC to it? It's, it, it, it seems that way. As long, as long as your code is using their code base, you need to pay for support in order to do a release. But they also say that Enterprise, that you can waive that requirement if you pay for the Enterprise stuff. So that seems to be pushing people towards that. And they, they, they have a couple of questions also specifically directed at porting houses as well. Maybe they can also implement some FSR 3.0 now that it's been open sourced. AMD, they, uh, they, they got tired of trying to pay people to implement their technologies, and so they just released it out into the wild. Uh, GPU Open, they, have, they periodically do these releases, and the latest one is FSR 3.0.3. Um, they did the same thing with FSR 1.0, which made it into GameScope and Glorious EE Proton. Uh, FSR 2.0 as well, although that needs to be implemented in the game. Same thing with FSR 3.0. No GameScope hacks for you, but... You can implement it. Uh, it's DX12 only at the moment. They are going to release a Vulcan version eventually. They say it's in development. Uh, but yeah, no, this is, it's, it's nice to have at least. The, I what mean, the fuck is Cauldron? Can... Hey, I'll tell you about it when you're older, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is MIT licensed. So, I mean, you take it, use it, go ham with it. And, you know, DYI. Speaking of that, though, I mean, I, I still want to see an open source project taking advantage because we've definitely seen, like with FSR1, which is bad however it was better than nothing we could implement that very easily through proton with steam or with lutris um using one of the dxvk right uh game scope game scope uh G game scope and uh g like wine ge had like a thing to actually do the post-processing uh -huh. as part of it as well and uh because you didn't need to make any modifications to the game but that uh has changed you know now FSR is just like DLSS, um, where you have to implement it on your game. What about ZSS? Because I didn't read through it very much, but it seemed like what I was reading was uh, ZSS can be used still like uh, FSR 1.0 was. Where I, 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 know, I know they were trying to open source uh, ZSS, or they, there was an open source component of it because they wanted more people to use it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's honestly a good question uh i i don't i don't know I, i've been playing i've been playing around with uh, <laughs> fsr a little bit with now now that i have access to 2.0 and 3.0 with the uh with the 7800 xt and like i don't i don't, I don't know like i'm i'm, see I'm seeing what uh mirror and uh Strat are saying in the uh in chat realm about uh yeah it basically lets uh lower end systems run games at a, at a better level especially on on the steam deck for me it was more like oh hey i can actually run some of these like so like cyberpunk actually runs decent with FSR and at, at like higher resolutions, I can't fucking tell the difference. Honestly, my eyes aren't that great. So, um, like I, FSR yeah. 1.0, not, not, uh, not, 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 not 1.0, 2.0, but like, yeah, yeah but what, 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 even 1.0, you know, if you're running it at ultra quality, you're still rendering the game at like 80% of the resolution that it's yeah. claiming to be. So it still looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 I mean like that 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 that's kind of it. We're 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 uh, these these days these days we're looking for good enough because if you want the best, you got to pay fifteen hundred dollars for that forty ninety, and no, ain't nobody got cash for well, that. I mean, if you then that boils back down to like, I mean, they're a uh, they really feel like a patch, you know, a solution that the industry is just adopting, you know, because yeah, they're like, you know what, we can make a GPU that can play all this shit without what I call gimmicks. Uh, but fuck you pricing. And, you know, we're very happy with selling you, um, this slightly less expensive yet, uh, boringly underpowered compared to last generation hardware, AMD and NVIDIA. Uh, 
but we'll put some gimmicks on it though make up for it but I, I, well, we're not I mean, gonna like, drop the price well i mean like yeah computer graphics like let's be real they've kind of they've kind of peaked like they're once upon a time like every console every successive like gaming generation shit looked like a lot better and now it's like such marginal improvements you're just like, yeah, maybe those reflections are a little better. Does does it does it well, matter? I don't know. Like the, the, when, it, when it comes to even like ray tracing, I'm like, get the fuck out of here with ray tracing. <laughs> yeah, like I, I turn it on <laughs> Cyberpunk and I'm like, okay, yeah, like the, the reflections look a little nicer, but like I, ray I'm tracing. Not, I'm, I'm not paying attention to that shit when I'm shooting stuff. Like ray tracing is the excuse that uh, Nvidia and AMD are were desperate for to uh, sell people the really high end graphics cards because. Yeah, even if you have like a, I don't know, a 3060 or a 4060 for that matter, or 6700 XT or a 6600, those cards at this point will play just about anything at 1080p 60 on max settings yes. without uh, RTX, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, and, like, and uh, I was running into that like with the 7800, right? Where like, yeah, like, 10, 1080p 60 is kind of a joke at this point, like yeah. for that card. So, and oh, 1080p 60 is like what you would assume. Like we can just like and just, yeah. just do that now. Like, yeah, you like should, that, that's you should like, be able to hit that. We're just minimum. at the yeah. point where that 3060 is probably going to be on your low end for that. But I'll ask you both this: ten years ago, uh, no, let's go seven years ago, because I know Jordan and I had 4K monitors. We just bought 4K monitors. I know it's in seven years. Are we going to be able to play? Are the 4K gaming going to be a thing with cards that we, you know, we just buy? I mean, uh, 4K 60, yes. Yeah. Right we, now, the, the yeah. 7800, the, even the 7700, um, the um, NVIDIA, the 4070, the maybe the 4060 Ti at a, at a pinch. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, okay, the, 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 hang on. Yeah, yeah. Without, without upscaling. <laughs> Without yeah, upscaling, yeah, the the seventy eight hundred, the forty seventy, the those cards can do doing four K sixty homing. Yeah, on what benchmark? What games? Um, I'd say most uh the top ten games on Steam. Most, if not all of them. So, so, so Vampire uh, Survivors. Yeah, like the sports <laughs> titles. <probably>. CS two, <laughs> Vampire Survivors. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, listen. I, I chose that we, we, list we, we, specifically. We 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 keep our expectations low. That's that's just what we do here on the next game cast. We we don't we don't have lofty goals. I don't know, man. Like I always feel like I, I you know, when you're saying stuff like that, and you're like, wouldn't, wouldn't it be neat to have that? You know, three. I, I would assume by if we would went seven years in the future, it's like you know what? For five hundred bucks, I would be able in 2023 for five hundred bucks. To buy a card that could do 4K 60 so, gaming without fucking worrying about it because I could buy the top of the line NVIDIA card for about 500. Yeah, bucks. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 I think the, the main stopper there was, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> pandemic and the boat kind of <laughs> threw the monkey wrench there because you know what? Maybe there is that alternate timeline where that fucking boat driver did his Tokyo drift and he pulled it off and <laughs> G, G, GPUs have, uh, have, are, are still reasonably priced. But crypto may have killed that either way. I don't know. Well, you got crypto, then you got AI, and then we got complete lack of competition between the two. Leaders Come on, whatsoever. Intel. Yeah. Come on, Intel. Show us some Battle Mage. <laughs> show, us, show us something remotely impressive. That ain't never going to happen. Anyway, good on you, AMD. Keep stuff open source. Hopefully, we'll see some adoption with it, and uh, it'll be a thing. Now, hypersomnia. Yes. It's like hypertension. Too, too much sleeping. <laughs> with the game yeah, so it, it is too much sleeping and implying a certain level of dream state and uh, inability to tell reality from uh, whatever the hell's is going it on like there. sleeping but driving fast that's what, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what happens when Don't I slam like six red bulls and is take it, a nap is it like sleeping on your motorcycle <laughs> no, it's, 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 like, it's like taking pet pills in Ambien and letting them fight mm -hmm. it out that's, that's what it is but yeah, uh, I, I'll be honest, and I'll preface this by saying that I love the idea of more uh, actual free software games. Absolutely. There were many, many good en uh, entries into the subgenre many years ago, but it kind of stopped. So I very much appreciate having a new one. That said, um, when I started scrolling down to the text portion of the readme.md on the uh, GitHub page for Hypersomnia, I couldn't tell what the fuck that was. <laughs> uh, 
I saw like hypersomnia at the bottom, and then uh, l- the very first picture that shows up, or that one that works too. All it's right, like, what the, f- what the fuck is that? All right, chat, see if you can figure out what that is. Uh, <laughs> That's some. Um, so, it, and then it's, it's went, my mother. It, what? <laughs> and then I went, it's like I scrolled down a little bit more. I went on Steam. It's like, ooh, they have trailer. Cool. Let's go look at the trailer. So I looked at the trailer and it's like, oh, that's a dude. Oh, he's holding like a purple up uh, sniper rifle type of situation. Okay, this is a very zoomed in crop picture of a top down shooter. Right. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that 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 took some doing. But yeah, no, it is very much a top down shooter and it is entirely or uh, as much as they can make it. Um, free software so seriously give it a go it is on steam you can just get it from there it is uh it's available i it I, is man and <laughs> you know what I, I went to download it i saw this i'm like oh, i'm giving you a little shout out for this uh it's an app image no you see each mod a plus x set i was like oh an app image that's, oh, it's only 28 megs this is a 28 megabyte game it's amazing when you don't have to ship a fuck mothering game engine Mm-hmm. And all the extra bits for your little mm-hmm. uh, top down shooty pew pew game. I wasn't expecting much. Why? Because this is that game TM. You know, you everybody's first game, right? It's that top down shoot uh, bullet hell. And uh, this is really well done. I was pleasantly surprised. Nice little tutorial right there at the beginning. And yeah, it is top down shooty pew pew, but it feels good, man. Like when you when you're shooting stuff and you, yeah, the right way to imagine like. You get all your movements and all the feels of a standard first person shooter, but you're looking at you looking at top of your head. Like it really captures yeah. that energy of like a first person. Yeah, the shooter. the 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 comparison they make to hot is to Hotline Miami and like they, they really do nail that gameplay. Um yeah, the the one the one gripe I have with it is when I launch the app image, it's spread out across both of my UHD yeah. monitors. Uh. And then when and then when you, you can change the resolution, but the settings menu is still long, long settings menu. You, Even though you, you got to find it and find like yeah, because I did that because I got this monitor here and this monitor, yeah. the three monitors like and we're over here. All right, all right, you took a yeah, journey, yeah. didn't you? All right, then you had to dial. I at least I did. I had to, uh, and I can imagine because even I have pretty low DPI in my trackball here. I had to dial that down. That thing was set on like just three or laughable. Yeah. Then I'm like, whoa, yeah. Because I, 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 I tried knocked, to play I through the tutorial the because it became immediately just like I can finish this with this crackhead sensitivity <laughs> being so high and i couldn't i had to back it down fun game yeah go yeah. play with it man F- uh 5v5 so online multiplayer online Holy multiplayer shit. right Mo- the open source game can Again. do it steam devs stomping on it uh so it, it, literally that. every time <laughs> the, yeah the, the open source game people are like oh people would want to play this with with other people wouldn't they let's just let's just add that in i mean maybe uh, all right. Uh, Super we... Tux Cart has it, man. <laughs> right. And has had it for a long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, last week we were talking about Windows 11. We were just like, hey, man, Windows 11 is awesome. It's the best operating system ever. Just pissing everybody off because Windows users don't even like it. And they're like, quit liking Windows 11. <laughs> it just angers and confuses my, them. My, my wife got updated to Windows 11 on her work computer, and she's just like, I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm like, yes, excellent. <laughs> Let it flow. Embrace the dark side. There we go. Uh, and we're like, hey, if you like running Windows 11, you, you think it's great, you think it's bad, send us some feedback. And if you want to do that, anything we talk about during the show, man, just head over to our contact page, smash the things that do the stuff, pick the show topic, give us an email address, shoot it in this direction, and we might, just might, read it on this very show. Also, YouTube comments are fair game, uh, Odyssey, just Patreon as, comments. Patreon comments. You got pretty much anywhere you can come to. Now, the, vo- the voicemail thing on Spotify. <laughs> double dare you. you. No, that's guaranteed. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, if you're going to fight that mini boss to do the uh, mm-hmm. leave a voicemail on Spotify or Anchor, uh, you, you deserve play. it. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah, you you, you get the full size chocolate bars for getting past the minefield to get to the Halloween candy. Stay tuned next week for 23 to 34 <laughs> minutes of voicemails. Hey, it, it's less time we have to spend talking. This this, this one's from Gigas, and uh, they say, "I am so happy Linux is being optimized for gaming, and I hope in the future also for mainstream programs, since Windows 11 is terrible." And annoying to use, even more people will start using Linux if more conventional and less resource-hungry Windows 12 will not come to save the day, then Linux will finally prevail. Now, people are just going to, like, 
stay on their tablets. It's going to be ed- edge OS. Yeah, it, it depends on how Microsoft wants to do Windows 12, because it might actually be, you know, less resource intensive if they're just going to stream most of it down. To you. It might it might be a Linux distribution. Don't tell people PNC this, because you, you got to buy the gamer package version of Windows oh, yeah. monthly subscription if you want. And then you're going to download the new AAA game and it's going to say, sorry, it's not compatible with this version of Windows 12. You need to pay for the new update in order to play this game. The Sony method. (laughs) I thought the Sony method was, oh, hey, you bought this thing? Let me remove it from your library. Well, th- that's new Sony method, yes. Now, for everybody saying, like, aha, uh-huh, you guys are Linux nerds making fun of Windows. I told you this a long time ago. You remember when uh, Microsoft uh, bought Pixar? Mm-hmm. That was an acquire. Microsoft didn't give a shit about fucking streaming video games, kids. They wanted to buy the people that were getting really good at streaming the video games, because if you can figure out how to fucking stream video games a little latency, just imagine what you can get up to on a goddamn desktop. Hold every like, game. Like uh, Windows 365. Yes. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. Would you ever, um, or are we going to go back to uh, dumb terminals or are we going to live I th- that I think, life? I, I think phones are already kind of the yeah. evolution of that, right? Okay. We've, yeah, been, we've it, been trying yeah, to make that work. The phone. The, the, you, the phone on a desktop doesn't do work thing. until it's wireless. Period. <laughs> right. Ask Samsung and all their free right, right, attempts right. to do it. I, I'm, I'm just talking more in general about like how everything is like SaaS these days. Mm. And so like your 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 phone has apps, right? But they connect to a network service. So it is it is effectively just a dumb terminal, right? Is that going to work with desktops? Uh, is there going to be enough of a market for desktops? Because we are in a very tiny minority. Not just well, people on Linux, just people who desktop gaming, or, PC game. The, yes, or or makers, right? People who make stuff. Uh, uh, people yeah. who would have a use but even though they got laptops I'm, I'm talking about people with like people who have discrete gpus that are like fuck y'all i'm playing some video games actual professionals will have a, a discrete gpu because in they may have a laptop as well along with the ipad and a few other things but okay. they will have... You have a desktop and on the side you've painted four games only yolo 360 no, I've seen that example because much like Nori, Nori's sister is really big into drawing and that's how she makes the bulk of her money. So it is, it, she's is she one the one who asked me. On Twitch? No, she, she doesn't. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, but the um, she was the one who asked me, it's like, I need to build like a proper computer that I can do the heavier stuff without it screaming without it having the fan screaming at me or having the ipad shutting down because it's overheating what application so, does she use i know a lot about this topic uh she uh what's it called appropriate uh, adobe on windows yeah this is probably the adobe stuff too but so, she uses other uh i can't remember the actual drawing one Ma- manga uh, studio it, is another popular one that people use clip clip studio or whatever Clip Studio, I think, is one of them, yes, for the animations, and the, um, oh, I can't remember the illustration one. It's not the Adobe one, it's... Krita? <laughs> I told her, it's like, have you tried Krita yet? No? You should Photo, try it. Photo P. <laughs> what what, think, if, what um, if she's just been using GIMP the entire time? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> like, Gamers Nexus, Steve brought up, uh, he was talking about, like, the why they moved away from Threadripper to Intel with QuickSync, just like the smashing around you can do that and yeah i understand you know I'm, I'm sitting here in this studio with a threat ripper like this system wasn't built for gaming at all it can play games as a happy side effect you know i didn't get a 3060 to play video games i got 3060 to render videos but reddit will be very mad at you then i know that's what reddit does uh <laughs> but we're canva we're- thank you nemo <laughs> canva <laughs> we're a small dying breed <laughs> because what were we talking about earlier? We got these fucking iPads with desktop CPUs in them. Like when you want to talk about art, that's where the art's going, my like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, there are still a lot of people using Procreate, which is an unfortunate name for uh, <laughs> <laughs> an, uh, an application. But yeah, it is uh, that one is just straight up iPad exclusive. It's a uh, iOS only. Fuck you. <laughs> hey man 
So, I, I, I don't know. There's not going to be it, enough of it, 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 it's, it's going it, to shrink down to personal computer users. It doesn't matter what your operating system is. You're just one of those weirdos who owns the computer. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's going to do I do want to give a little plug to uh, DCI. A uh, guy is talking to, he's from Japan. And years and years ago, I enabled the uh, thing on YouTube. I never realized it was still on or still worked. There's a thing on our YouTube thing where you can do like a say thanks. Like it's mm. like this little super things. You can like do a tip. And lo and behold, I checked the comment section and it had a thank you with a number on it. And I'm like, the fuck is this? I'm like, left a thank you tip on YouTube. Oh. Uh, 200 yen. So our first one. <laughs> wow. that, 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 well, th- thank you. Thank you for the soda, DCI. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, two dollars ish, give or take. <laughs> I, I don't give a shit about the money. Didn't, didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That, that's the first person after all these years to like, yes, it does work. Validation. So all right. <laughs> we did it. Did it. Ah, oh, thank all you for right. testing. <laughs> it does work. Uh, we got a bunch of different ways. If you want to help us out, support the show, what we get up to. Over at LinuxGameCast.com, we got a Patreon.com forward slash LinuxGameCast. We got Libra Pay. We got PayPal. One-time payments. You want to kick us some coin just straight in the bits. That's why we like it. Right in the bits or right in the PayPals. Amazon. Isn't that right, Stroy? Right? There you go. Uh, <laughs> clicky, clicky. Amazon wish list. You can pick up something for Jordan, Jill, Pedro, or I got one for the studio. Uh, send in a message. We'll probably read it on air if you're lucky. Uh, merch stores. We got a little Teespring. We got some shirts. We got some stickers. We got an Amazon storefront if you're curious about the hardware in the studio. And of course, as I was trying to unsubscribe from too many humble emails this week, they got me. They got me. And they're like, hey, what, man, what, 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 what'd you get? What'd you get? We, we, we got another game music bundle. Ah. And I'm like, <laughs> Damn it. That's my only kryptonite. I have to buy that. And uh, so, which I did. Uh, the, the- I, some, sometimes they get me with those book bundles. I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of comics. Is, or, uh, hey, a uh, humble affiliate link is on our support page. There is a good bundle, though, because I saw a bundle. I'm like, shit, that's a good bundle. But I got those games. Uh, they're a heroin bundle. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You can get uh, Control. control uh, and what was the other one? Uh, um, Hellpoint or Hellblade. Hellblade. Hellblade, yes. <laughs> Both very good games. Dude, go for it. Get it done. And uh, yeah, that's it. Do we get anything else? Can we get out here? Roll some credits. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. All right, hang on. I, I got all these new music songs, Jordan. I have to scroll back up through them. I um, know. I, I I heard new music this time around. And I'm like, oh, then then got it. I I figured you got a new bundle or something, but uh. all right, credit time. No, oh my God. wrong button. There we go. <laughs> what? Well, uh, the credits uh, started to show. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> we we tripped that rock into thinking. All right, and there look what it did. Hey. Well, yeah, it's straight heroin, like the bird. <laughs> yeah, straight heroin. Well, we got to thank our advisors, Omega Sartheran, our executive producers, Bob Ram, Scott Michaud, Tom McCast, Mike G, Drummer, Tomaj, Hakeem, David, E. Shep, and Ian, and our little Nicky fans, Pedesto, Empty, Glorious, Eggy, and Nubbin. And the Sea Monsters, Renault, Ryder X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Nubbin, Darkwing, System T, Denzing, Joe, Ogiwan, and Kyrilla, and so many Death Notes and Cherlings that you are all truly hey man, wonderful. Popper, Aromatic, Barks, Jonas, <laughs> Julio, Daniel, Zeno, Dementors, Zen, Xanthorus Gaming, Monica, Shadow, Zen. Shadow, Zen. Zen was having problems getting Damn. his card punched in or something, and he went at it <laughs> one afternoon. <laughs> Kudos to you, Zen. And all for fine yep. upstanding cannibals on the Blinkatron wall behind me. Thank you very much. We did it. You did, did it. it. They did it, Reddit. What comes after Reddit? Vote? Uh, <laughs> no, no. It, our, our, it, uh, so S, so it would be set it. Set it. And then Ted it. And forget And then, then it. Edit. And then vet it. <laughs> you guys need to, should have like held up your Steam decks for a thumbnail. I, I yeah, we can do yeah. that. Five dudes. <laughs>